recognize that music my friends it is our olympics so we are going to talk about our olympics i think a lot of you have studied the olympics in class so you know what it is it's an international sporting event um let's do okay let's take a little olympic quiz um ready so if you get the question right I want you to just stand up and sit back down. If you get the question wrong, I want you to do three jacks, okay? So right, you just stand up, sit back down again, just get some movement. If you get the question wrong, three jumping jacks, okay? All right, let's try it. Um, what's my name? Miss Nelson, you probably got it right. So let's just stand up and sit back down. Okay, um, how old am I? I hope you said 25, which is wrong. So five jumping jacks. Let's try it. One, two, three. Sorry, I meant three. Okay, so right answer, you just stand up and sit back down. Wrong answer, three jumping jacks. Okay, question one. The Olympics started where? Which country? Greece. They started in Greece. So if you said Greece, stand up, sit back down. If you said something else, three jumping jacks. Great. Question two, in what year did the modern Olympics first begin? If you've been studying this, you might know it. 1896, 1896, a long time ago. So if you got it right, stand up, sit back down. If you got it wrong, three jacks. Anyone know when was the first year of the ancient Olympics? 776 BC. A very long time ago. That was Greek mythology time. So if you got it right, stand up, sit back down. If you got it wrong, three jumping jacks. 776 BC. That's ages and ages ago. Okay, question four. Um, how often are the Olympics held? Every four years. So if you got it right, you know what to do. If you got it wrong, you know what to do. Next question, what types of Olympics are there? There's two different types of Olympics, I mean season-wise. There are the Summer Olympics and there are the Winter Olympics. So either stand up or do your jacks. And which country will host, which would have been the 2020 Olympics, they've now been postponed to 2021, which country will host them? Tokyo, so they're going to be in Japan. So if you got it right, Stand up if you got it wrong, some jacks. Um, and next question, do you know how many events there will be at the next Olympics? How many ways can people get a medal? 339 events are going to be happening at the next Olympics. That is a lot of medals that we'll be giving out. So either stand up and sit back down or your jacks. Okay, this is one I think we'll probably all get. There are three types of medals that are given for each event. What are they? There is bronze, there is silver, and there is gold. So gold is first place, silver is second, and bronze is third. If you got that right, stand up and sit back down. If you got that wrong, three jacks. Okay, there is another type of Olympics that happens usually a little bit alongside the normal Olympics and a little bit afterwards. Do you know what that is called? It is called the Paralympics. And do you know what the Paralympics are? So the Paralympics are for people who are not as able-bodied as most of us. It's for people who have maybe lost the use of their arms or they lost the use of their legs or they are blind or they have some disability that makes them a little less able-bodied but they can still compete. So they just compete in some adapted types of events. So you'll often see wheelchair basketball or wheelchair volleyball. You'll see people running um, who are missing legs or arms. You'll see people playing soccer or different sports blindfolded. 
because they're blind, but people are blind in different ways. So to make it even, everyone wears the blindfold. So it's just adapted games, the different types. So even though people have a disability and they're still amazing athletes, they can still compete in the Olympics and they just modify the events. So that was our last question. Excellent work on the quiz. Um, if you got them all right, you didn't do any jacks. Um, if you didn't get very many right, you got a little bit exercise. So it's really a win-win. Well done, my friends. So we're going to talk about Olympics. We have learned so many skills, and I think we probably know so many sports. What I want you to do today is to create your own Olympics. So triathlon, what does that mean? A triathlon is normally three events. So it's normally running, swimming, and biking. So maybe you create your own event today where you try to do those three events if you happen to have a swimming pool. Or maybe you do a duathlon where you go out biking and you go out running. So that could be some of your events. You could also do something called a heptathlon. Who knows what that means? Seven events. And there are three running events. There are two jumping events and two throwing events. So you could do different types of running. You could do standing broad jump, you could do high jump, and then you can maybe throw your frisbee and you could shot put or create your own events. We have all these skills. I want you to get creative and use all these skills to create your own Olympic events. There's also the decathlon. How many events is a decathlon? 10 events. So again, running events, throwing events, and jumping events. So all the skills that we know that we can create some events from. There's also this crazy thing called the steeplechase. Um, if you want to Google the steeplechase, it's amazing. Basically, it's running between 2,000 and 3,000 meters, and they're jumping over obstacles. So they're jumping over kind of high hurdles, and some of those hurdles have water underneath. So sometimes you can just jump over the hurdle, but sometimes you have to kind of fly over it because there's water underneath. So this is an amazing event. So maybe you create a little bit of a steeplechase and if you have a garden and access to maybe some buckets of water, you can create a steeplechase event where you jump over the bucket and that can be your water, um, your water jump. So try triathlon, duathlon, heptathlon, decathlon, loads of ways that you can create your Olympic events. What I would love for you to do today is sit down, plan it, Maybe you can Google some things on the computer. Maybe you just use those amazing brains of yours. You write down, you draw pictures of some of your events and you make a little map on a piece of paper and then you go set it up. Maybe you don't set it up today. Maybe you set it up tomorrow. You can extend this for two days. Get really creative. Then I would love for you to take a picture or a little video and you can post a seesaw tagging PE in it so I know I need to know or you can email it to me if you want uh, your pictures or your videos and I will award house points five house points to anyone who can show me their Olympics maybe if you have siblings you create a family Olympics and you create some events for your sibling and they create some events for you so so many ideas um, of how you can create your Olympics so many skills you have and you know this is your time to get creative. All right, coming up next in this video, um, I have some pictures because I went to the Olympics. I forgot. I went to the Beijing Olympics in China um, and I went to the soccer matches. And I also went to the London Olympics, which I bet a lot of your families have been to the London Olympics. And the cyclists in the London Olympics drove right by my house. I lived in Richmond at the time and they just drove right by my house. It was crazy. So I've been to two Olympics. I wonder if any of you have been to Olympics or if your families have. So just a little bit of trivia. So I have a few photos of me at the Olympics and also I have our Olympic sports workout. So if you want to get some movement, stay tuned. Here comes um, a video on the our Olympic sports movement. Maybe even while you're doing it, it will give you some ideas of some events that you can do. So create your own Olympics, take some photos, um, do it today, do it tomorrow, maybe every week you do a new Olympics, Olympic sport. Not just track and field, remember, we also have basketball, volleyball, tennis, golf, 
um, fencing, horseback riding, swimming. There are so many events in the Olympics. Um, think of all these different things. You can just play a game, use those skills. Doesn't just have to be track and field, but a way that you can do it is by making up 10 events or seven events or five events or three events or two events or one event. And again, create your own Olympics. All right, good luck, my friends. I can't wait to see your pictures and videos and I'll see you tomorrow, bye. So here are some ideas of other Olympic events. Have a look through these little pictures or like I said, have some research on the internet to remind yourself of all the Olympic events that are out there and use the skills that we have been working on the past week um, to create your own Olympics. Here is me in Beijing at the soccer matches I attended. Seems like such a long time ago. That was 2008. Okay, are you ready to do some moving with me? We are gonna do a sports workout. So lots of different positions, lots of different skills that we need for our skill development. So you're gonna move with me, we're gonna think of all the sports we can think of and try a few moves from them. Okay, stand up, let's go. Okay, so let's think about basketball. What do we do in basketball? We dribble, we dribble that ball. Are you dribbling? And maybe we walk with it, keeping our eyes up. Don't look at that ball, you don't need a ball. Just dribbling that imaginary ball. Maybe we cross it over and we dribble with the other hand. And we walk, eyes up, looking straight ahead, walking, dribbling, looking straight ahead. And we cross it over again and we dribble with the other side. And then we pick that ball up. And remember pivot, we pivot on one foot. And we pivot back. And we pivot, and we pivot. And now what should we do? Should we shoot the ball? Let's shoot the ball, jump and down. Let's shoot five times. Shoot and down. Jump and shoot. Jump and shoot. One more. And we go back to dribbling. What are some other sports we know of? Gymnastics. Let's do some gymnastics. Let's practice our shapes. We have X. We have I. We have tuck. Can you forward roll? Forward roll for me. I can't forward roll. Forward roll and you come up. And you back pedal back, and you go again to X, and to I, and to tuck, and you forward roll, and you stand up, and you do X, and I, and you tuck, and you forward roll, and you jump up. Fantastic. Let's try some lateral movement. So what could we do in gymnastics that has us moving this way? Could we cartwheel? If you can cartwheel, I want you to cartwheel five times for me. If you're not cartwheeling yet, here's what I want you to do. I want you to take your feet and your hands and you just bend and you come up. And you bend and you come up. And you bend and you come up. And now we're going to place our hands down on the ground, okay? And those hands go down and you take those feet and you come back up. So if you can cartwheel, cartwheel five more times for me. If you can't cartwheel, let's work on it. We bend and we come up and we bend. Now we're gonna place our hands on the ground and those hands go down and those feet come together and we stand up again. Fantastic. So one more time, you just shift weight. If you're done with your cartwheeling, just shift your weight. Otherwise, let's try one more time that cartwheel. We stand nice and tall in our X. We bend, we come up, hands go to the ground this time. We bend our knees, we bend down. Our feet come together and we stand up. Fantastic, gymnastics are a great one. Um, weightlifting, that's an Olympic sport. Let's think about weightlifting. Let's go down, let's pick up that weight 
and lift it up over our heads. And then we bend down and we squat and we come up and we drop the weight. Do it again. You bend down, you pick up that weight, you press it over your head, you squat down, you come up and you drop the weight. Three more times. Imagine you're an Olympic weightlifter. You have 500 pounds that you're trying to lift. Think of how that would feel. All that strength, all the focus and balance you need. You go down, you pick up that weight. You lift it over your head. You squat down, you come up, and you drop it. Two more times. Down you go. Arr! Lift it over your head. Squat, bend down, and drop it. And final time. This is it. This is it. This is it. You can do it. Push it up over your head, squat down, come up, and drop it. Woo! How'd you get that feel? Feel it in your legs. Remember, what are these muscles again? Our quads. Feel it in your glutes and in your upper body, right? That's total everything. Weightlifting. What about swimming? That's Olympic sport. Let's think about swimming. Are you ready? We're going to swim with the front crawl. Here we go. Swimming. If you want to lay down on the ground, you can swim on the ground. Bringing those arms. You swim faster. 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 And you cross the finish line. Let's go again. Down in the ground. Belly's down. We're going to use our feet this time to bring everything together. Here we go. Swimming. Swimming. Faster, 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 faster. Oh. And we made it. Well done. What's something else? Boxing is an Olympic sport. Did you know that? So let's do some boxing. Remember, keep our hands up. Our ready position. Remember our ready position when we're playing sports? Those arms up and we punch. Remember, bend those knees, follow through with those hands. Excellent work. And now I want you to do something. You punch, punch, and you go down, and you punch, punch. Keep those hands up. Yes. Working all parts of our body, right? We're nearly done. Fantastic. What's another sport? Rugby. Rugby is an Olympic sport. So we toss that ball. Can you toss the ball forward in rugby? So let's practice running and tossing. Here we go. Run and you toss and you backpedal. Run, you toss. You have to toss that ball back behind you. Run, toss, and backpedal. And again, run, toss, and backpedal. And one more time, run, Fantastic. Anything else? Running, jumping, high jumping. So let's practice some jumping. I have a line here. I'm going to practice my standing broad jump. Do we remember how to do that? We stand just like we did our broad jump in sports day. We use those arms. One, two, and three. And we go back. Five of these. One, two, three, and we jump, and we go. See if you can get further every single time. If you have chalk in your toolkit, maybe you take a moment and you mark where you've jumped to. Ready? One, two, three. Ooh, I've used this twig. So I'm gonna mark it. We've got two more times. One, two, and three. Ooh, I, I made it a little bit further. This is our last one. One, two, and three. Yes. Ooh, that was the furthest I got. So jumping, standing broad jump, high jump. Can you jump high? Let's think about jumping high. Bring your knees up. So tuck jump. Imagine you're jumping over a big log, okay? Ready, steady, and go. So what did I do? What did I use? Did I use my upper body? I did I use my upper body. I brought my knees to my chest. So let's try it again. Three more over that log again. Last one. Fantastic. Oh, your heart rate's going. What is another Olympic sport? 
running, right? Short, quick running or long running. So let's run in a circle. Let's go clockwise three times, okay? Let's run slow the first three. And we'll run faster later on. Ready? Slow run three times. Last one. Running clockwise. Two. Are you using your upper body? Opposite arm, opposite leg. Fantastic. Now see if you can sprint. So you run as fast as you can and you come back, okay? So pick a space, pick a spot in your space if you can run fast. If you can't run fast, I want you to cheetah run. Cheetah run in, in place really fast. But if you're somewhere where you can run, I want you to sprint. Okay, ready, steady, Was that? Did you go? Okay, go two more times. I'm gonna cheat a run. Ready, steady, sprint as fast as you can and come back. Whew. Are you back? Fantastic. And one more time. Cheat a run. Let's cheat a run as fast as we can, everyone. Ready, steady, sprint. And back again. Whew. So we ran slow, we ran fast. Is your heart moving? Is your heart a muscle? It's a muscle. So the end, when it starts to pound, if you feel it pounding, stop for a moment and feel. Feel it pounding. That means you're working it so hard. That's a good thing. You're building it up, you're making it stronger. So when you get a little bit breathless and you feel your heart pounding, such a good thing. So you just take deep breaths. You bring the heart rate back down again. Perfect. All right, some more Olympic sports. Fencing with a sword. I don't know a lot about fencing, but I do believe you need that. You need to have that ready position. So one foot in front of the other. You've got that sword. And let's just push. So extend that arm. Keeping balance. Balance goes from the back to the right. Forward, forward. Now have a little sword fight. Imagine having a little sword fight in a fencing competition, okay? Ready and go. What would you do? Where would you go with that sword? Up, down, all over the place. Keep going. Fantastic. Fencing is another one. Volleyball, which is my favorite sport. Do you know much about volleyball? So volleyball, we hit the ball here. So again, we're in that ready position and we're, we're telling the ball's coming at us and we're gonna hit it away. So you bend those knees and you hit, and you hit, and you hit. And if you wanna think about your hands, you take hands and you go pancakes and sausages. Pancakes and sausages. And you rotate your arms out so it's nice and flat. And then you hit that ball nice and low, hit. This is called the pass. Excellent. Three more. Two. And there's also something called the spike in volleyball. Should we try it? You spike it down with your arm. You rotate back and you hit the ball. Rotate back and you hit. Rotate the arm back and you hit it. Excellent. Nice rotation in that shoulder. And last one. Excellent. Anything else? We miss tennis. Tennis, so get your tennis racket. Got your tennis racket. Ready position, the ball's coming at you. What do you do? And back to ready position, right? Here we go. And you hit. Here it comes. Stay ready, stay balanced on those feet. Here we go. Should we try some backhands? I'm not very good at backhand, are you? And you backhand, and you come back. I bet lots of you play tennis way better than I do. And you backhand, staying in that ready position, backhand again. Let's try forehand, backhand. Forehand, ready position, backhand. Well done. Forehand, ready position, backhand. 
Whew, well done. I think we've gone through a lot of sports, a lot of different skills and types of movement we need to think about. We're going to start to learn a little bit more about these sports later on, um, probably later this week and next week. We're going to focus on a different sport every day. We will be doing basketball first. So make sure you have a basketball for your toolkit. Great moving. If you want to research Olympic sports and find out what other sports are in the Olympics, you can do that. There are a lot of events where there's multiple events. Sometimes there's 10 events or 10 sports in one event. Can you believe that? Sometimes there's five sports in one event. Oh, one, one thing we forgot was horseback riding. Let's do that. Get on your horse. Ready? And you ride. Balance, what do you need for horseback riding? Really strong legs and really strong core. You sit up nice and tall. And five, four, three, two, and one. Pull that horse back, make it stop. So, horseback riding is an Olympic sport. Okay, well done, my friend.